Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two really powerful devices around the 35 to 45,000 price segment. We have the newly launched Poco F7 with the Snapdragon 8S uh, Gen 4 chip and we also have uh, the OnePlus 13R which comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So two really powerful devices. Let's see how they perform and uh, how the experience is with the memory management. So we'll just uh, show you the about device on both the devices. So you can see here. Uh, Poco S7 with uh, 12 gigabyte RAM. Here we have 16 gigs of RAM, slightly higher variant. Uh, this is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, while uh, this is uh, you can see a Snapdragon 8 is Gen 4. In fact, in, in terms of GPU performance, the Snapdragon 8 is Gen 4 is slightly better. That's what uh, company claims. So let's see how good uh, the performance is. So both are Android uh, 15 out of the box. Uh, we have the Oxygen OS 13 or rather uh, Oxygen OS 15, and we have the Hyper OS 2.0. So let's just clear off all the background apps on both the devices so there you go we have just cleared off all the apps so let's see the network connections on both the devices so both are connected to the same wi-fi network and we are turned off in the airplane mode on both the phones so let's start the speed test so let's start with uh, asphalt unite Poco was slightly faster uh, by a very small margin. Next is uh, BGMI. Now game performance mode is enabled on both devices. So here again Poco has taken the lead. Slightly faster was Poco F7. So both the games Poco was faster. Now Play Store. Probably OnePlus was slightly faster. Chrome browser. Again, uh, OnePlus was slightly faster. Facebook, almost same time I would say. Twitter, again OnePlus was slightly faster. Here again OnePlus is faster, 13R is faster. Here also you can see here 13R is faster. Amazon, OnePlus uh, is faster. Facebook, I mean uh, Flipkart is also faster on uh, 13R. File Manager, again 13R is faster. Settings, once again 13R is faster. YouTube, again 13R is faster. Gmail, again 13R did a better job. Camera, 13R is faster. So here also you can see a 13R is faster. So you could see here, apart from the games, almost all apps had a slight advantage with the OnePlus 13R. A bit more optimized in terms of UI experience, that's what we feel. But more or less similar in terms of overall uh, uh, speed. Uh, now next, let's see the memory management of these two devices. So let's see how the memory management is. So, so as of now, all the apps are available in the memory. Amazon is available, uh, Spotify is retained. Here again, I can see here all the apps are retained. So, memory management seems to be really good. Now, here BGMI is reloaded on uh, Poco uh, F7. So, that's uh, one app which has been reloaded. Finally, Asphalt. So you can see here both the devices have Asphalt uh, Unite in the memory. So except for one app, uh, both of the devices did a really good job in terms of memory management. One plus once again did a slightly better job retaining all the apps while uh, one app was uh, reloaded on the Poco S7. Uh, one plus does have an advantage that's a 13R has a slight advantage with uh, 16 gigs of RAM. This is 12 gigs, but nevertheless that is more than enough. Now next uh, let's uh, see the uh, network speed of these two devices. So in terms of opening of apps, I would say uh, one plus 13 hour did have an advantage because uh, maybe it is a bit more optimized in terms of UI experience but games are faster on the Poco uh, F7 and also uh, the OnePlus 13 hour is a bit more uh, priced higher compared to the OnePlus or rather the Poco F7. Next is the network uh, speed of these two devices so let's start with um, uh, Poco F7 so we connected uh, both the devices to the same server. We got the exact same uh, speed on both the phones. And next, let's see the raw benchmark score. So this is one area where these two devices might be very close. You can see here 20 lakh or 2 million. This is 1.9 million or 19 lakh. Very close again in terms of uh, uh, the... Uh, 
synthetic benchmark 4 lakh cut 26000 while this is 4 lakh gpu is slightly better on this device as i said before 8 lakh 50000 while 7 lakh 86000 uh, but more or less similar in terms of overall uh, uh, benchmark so and to benchmark is what uh, we have got right now so let's see the storage test of these devices both have ufs uh, uh, 4.0 and you can see here 2 lakh 29000 while this is 2 1 2 lakh 17000 again very similar scores uh, both are ufs 4.0 Next, uh, let's see the Geekbench test. So, so we have performed the Geekbench uh, and uh, here we have uh, the results. So you can see here two, uh, 2057 while this is 1995. Now the multi-core score uh, is uh, 65000 while this is 5544. So again, uh, there is a difference in terms of the score. So that was the multi-core score and the single core score. So obviously the POCO has an advantage here. So that was a speed test comparison of these two devices. So, so which of these devices did you like and which is your pick? There is a price difference between these two devices. So do let us know your thoughts on this video. So don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.